Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I will show you how to install the Sage theme. The theme was earlier known as uh, Root theme but now they have changed the name and they have also introduced some new tools uh, in this theme. So first of all to install this I will just uh, clone the uh, git repository in my system. Uh, I have uh, just changed my directory to in the themes folder. I will clone it with a with my theme name whatever uh, name you can choose let me call it test so it will download all the content from the remote git repository of this uh, sage theme and it will copy the same into the uh, the test directory so you can use it to activate the theme mm, let's wait till this uh, gets uh, downloaded so it's done uh, what I will do, I will activate the team using the WPCLI. Okay, the Sage, you can see it has switched to the Sage starter theme. Like, <coughs> sorry, I can go to the website and check. <coughs> sorry, mm, you can see that there is uh, no style sheet here, and if you check the page source, you will see and uh, CSS file mm, of the uh, of the theme that you are using themes test distribution styles main.css so if we click it it will give you an uh, not found uh, error so this shows that the theme is not correctly installed so what we have to do we have to install some additional tools to uh, make this theme uh, theme work what we'll do First of all, let's let's install the Node Package Manager, and uh, we will install it uh, globally and the latest version. Uh, but this would not work because it would require uh, additional privileges. So this will install the Node Package Manager, and uh, we are installing it globally so it's done now we have to install Bower and uh, Gulp That will take some time. I'm having some bad health today. Let's pause this video. Okay, let's uh, uh, move to the theme directory. And if you can see, we have let's filter for JSON file. We have three uh, JSON files: the composer.json, code.json, and package.json. So these three, three files will help us configure our uh, theme. Uh, first of all, let's do an npm install. It will install the packages based uh, on the package.json. Oops, I got an error. Uh, I forgot to use the uh, sudo here. So I will do it again with the privilege. Uh, permissions it will take some time till the time let's configure the theme uh, this is the theme folder and if you can see we have uh, all this file here the json file the composer.json file so these are the file that will help uh, it's using the bootstrap as a dependency here so in this manifest.json file we have to change this 
development URL. So what we'll do, we'll go to the our URL, copy it, and substitute it with this. Okay, guys, it is installed. So you can see all these packages have been installed as required. Now, now we have to use power to install the packages. To install Bootstrap, SAS. I prefer SAS that less. I have also did a video about it, so you can just check it out if you if you have time. jQuery and you can say the jQuery version should be greater than 1.9 so now it's done so if you check your page it has some of the style sheet now but still not functioning so next I guess Gulp. You have to try to read the Gulp file.js or oh, sorry the Gulp file.js or which is present here. Sorry Gulp file.js. Okay, so you you can see using Gulp file, it has. We can use Gulp. Uh, the theme is generated, but I think there are some issues. The menu is not correctly showing. Oh, I get it. I will. Do a magic oh let me do it again and let's try it again. I think I have to rebuild this, but we'll get it at this. Uh, and Gulp is necessary, and uh, until unless you change this uh, manifest.json here, this thing you will not be getting the correct preview whenever you do some changes. For example, if in the style.css I just add a style. So it can update it on its own, but uh, it's not doing this. So you can see it is updating the styles, and see the update is here. It is a better way to. It is a very good way for theme developer as uh, you can have uh, the concrete changes being displayed on, on on the website. Hope you like this video. In case you do, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.